Hello, this is Siddharth Thamber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. A question that I get asked on occasion is, what sort of tissues can actually be regenerated with regenerative medicine? It's a tricky one because it depends on what the condition is, what's the severity, and when you're catching somebody in their, in their arc of their treatment or arc of their condition. So if you have somebody that has longstanding let's say knee arthritis, you're not going to be able to regenerate the cartilage in that knee. On the other hand, if they have that same person who has chronic knee arthritis, you'll also find that they frequently will have swelling in the bone. By treating the bone in that regenerative medicine treatment, whether it's platelet-rich plasma or bone marrow-derived stem cells, you can actually improve that finding. You can actually improve the finding in the bone. So there are some things that can still improve and get close or back to normal. Other things, let's say soft tissue injuries. If somebody has a partial thickness rotator cuff or ACL tear after an acute injury, if you're catching them at an early enough stage of their injury, you can help to get that tissue to look back to normal on imaging. If that is a more chronic injury, that's probably less likely. You can still improve the structural integrity to give somebody better function in that tendon or ligament injury. If the severity of the injury is too severe, let's say a full thickness tear where the tissue is fully retracted and separated apart, you're not really going to get that to look better. On imaging, that would probably be more appropriate for surgery. So a lot of it depends on what tissue is being treated, what's the stage of treatment, and what's the individual's um, uh, time course in their condition as well. But the other interesting thing is, even when you have something that is more advanced, like let's say bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, the interesting thing is that even if you can't get the imaging to look better, you can get dramatic pain relief, over 65-70% improvement in pain, and improvement in function as well. And it's because on a biologic level, the joint is healthier, the cells are functioning better. There's less inflammation in the joint. In addition, you can improve the instability of the ligaments and the soft tissue structures so that a person has better stability and so that they have better function and less pain as well. So it's important to understand that some things can look better on imaging, some things cannot, but improvement in pain and function which is really what the goal should be if you're talking about an individual who has pain and limitations. Those things can still occur, even if you have a more advanced condition.